What is going on YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. It's Joseph Wells. In today's video, we're going to be talking about facing your giant and how you can win when you face your giant. Are you in a season right now where you're facing a giant and it seems to be towering over you? I completely understand that because I was in the same boat. And today, the Lord revealed to me something that is so powerful, and I want to give it to you. I think it's going to be so important for your season right now and the giant that you're facing. And I believe that you're going to come out victorious after watching this video. You have the power and authority to fight back and defeat this giant. So today, our reading is coming from 1 Samuel chapter 17, and that is where we talk about David defeating Goliath. My question for you is, are you going to be like the Israelite army, or are you going to be like David? You see, Scripture says that the Israelite army were terrified and deeply shaken, but David was not shaken because he had fought lions and bears. But David had been tested, and it was in his preparation that prepared him for this very moment to fight Goliath. And defeat him. Now, this means for you too, I believe that you have gotten through many trials and tribulations. God has got you through so many things. And I want to encourage you that you have been prepared for this very moment and in this season that in the giant that you're facing right now. And so I want to encourage you to run towards your giant just as David did. Now, if you go to scripture here, 1 Samuel 17, verse 48, it says, as Goliath moved closer to attack, David quickly ran out to meet him. Meet your giant face on, head on, and meet your giant with confidence. So just because you're facing a giant doesn't mean that you should be afraid. Doesn't mean that you should already feel defeated. You have power over this giant. And God says to be strong and courageous. So I want to point out a couple things that I found significant in this chapter. So what was unique about David? Well, David had mindset. He had the mindset because he fought lions and bears. He already had that mindset and belief in himself that he could be uh, the one to defeat Goliath. Okay, let's go to verses 34 through 37. And it says here, but David persisted. I have been taking care of my father's sheep and goats, he said. When a lion and bear comes to steal a lamb from the flock, I go after it with a club and rescue the lamb from its mouth. If the animal turns on me, I catch it by the jaw and club it to death. I have done this to both lions and bears, and I'll do it to this pagan Philistine too, for he has defied the armies of the living God. The Lord who rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear will rescue me from this Philistine. See, he had the mindset. He already claimed his victory. And I want to encourage you to claim your victory. Okay? David said that the Lord rescued me from the claws of the lion and the bear. And he will rescue me from this Philistine. He already claimed his victory. And you should claim your victory too. So not only did David have the right mindset, he had identity. Let's go to verse 45, and it says here, David replied to the Philistine, You come to me with sword, spear, and javelin, but I come to you in the name of the Lord of heaven's armies, the God of the armies of Israel, whom you have defied. He had identity. You are a child of God. You have the power and the blood of Jesus over you. So come to your giant with authority. And it starts with your identity. So the giant that you're facing in this season, right now, the giant that you're facing, I want to encourage you to come with a victorious mindset already. The Lord has got you through many trials and tribulations. You have been tested. You have been prepared. So come with a victorious mindset. And lastly, come with identity. You are a child of God. So claim it and use that power and authority. All right, I just wanna recap this video so that way you're ready for battle. Number one, the giant you're facing is not as big as you think. All you need is a slingshot and a couple of stones to take down your giant. So run right towards your giant, face on. Number two, your past trials have prepared you for this season and the giant you're currently facing. Number three, have a mindset of victory. Claim the victory before the battle begins, just like David did. And number four, have identity in the Lord. As you face your giant, remember that you are a child of God. So that wraps up our video. I really hope that this video spoke to you and reveals to you that mindset and identity are extremely important as you go through life. So if you found this video helpful, like it and comment down below what stood out to you. 
and share it with somebody who needs to hear this message. And also subscribe to the channel if you want to hear more videos just like this. And until next time, I will see you in the next video.